and welcome to another, uh, I would say unboxing video, if you can unbox a book. Uh, but it's a first look at a book that arrived uh, this afternoon. Um, I ordered this yesterday from Amazon, having seen that it was uh, had been published and was available on the Bolt Action Facebook group. Uh, I don't know anything about the book, uh, or the contents really, um, but it was really uh, the author... Uh, that piqued my interest. Uh, it's a book by Andy Singleton and uh, Andy posts um, pictures of his painted uh, World War II figures up on the Bolt Action page. Uh, he has been doing for some time so uh, I always uh, like to see his work. It's uh, it's of a good a good high quality and uh, when I saw him post yesterday that this book was available, available I went straight onto Amazon and ordered a copy. Uh, by the time I ordered it there were only five five copies left. So uh, I don't know if um, Amazon are getting more, because I'm sure by now they'll have uh, sold out of that batch. Um, but anyway, this really is a, a, a first look, um, as I haven't even opened the package. So let's have a look at the book. So, this is it. Painting War Games Figures World War II in the Desert by uh, Andy Singleton. Uh, published by Pen and Sword. Now I can't quite remember how much it cost. It was about eleven pounds, I think. Um, so this is it. A little bit about Andy on the back. A professional commission painter for some years. So paperback, obviously. Hundred. And 57 pages. And there we go. If you're after ISBN numbers, our contents. So we've got uh, basics, tools, boot camp, guides, British Commonwealth. Italian, United States, German, camouflage, and basing, and then a list of manufacturers. So let's just have a quick flick through um, and see what we've got. So that's a, hopefully a bit uh, better angle. Basics, some uh, tools and techniques. Applying washes. So, um, I mean, this uh, section of these books tends not to be quite so important to uh, experienced painters, um, but uh, doubt, doubtless uh, of use to uh, those just entering into the hobby or just uh, beginning to paint their, their figures. Boot camp, uh, putting figures together, metal and plastics, and then we get to the painting guides. British Commonwealth. So we've got uh, some Vallejo colours there. Lots of photographs. And a step by step guide. And where do we end up? We end up down there. Then we've got painting the Italian army. Uh, similar step-by-step -step guides. Again with uh, lots of charts. Um, we go on to uh, Vallejo there, an army painter. And those dipping paints, I don't use them myself, but uh, I, I do use uh, inks. And we're on to the uh, Americans. And 
and then German Africa Corps. Uh, a little bit at the end about uh, what well, we've got um, camouflage. So my um, SS camo paint set might come in useful. And then a bit about basing. So that's all. Oh, we end up with uh, a guide to uh, different figure providers and manufacturers. So that's my very quick look at uh, Andy Singleton's World War II in the Desert uh, painting figures. Um, Obviously not uh, a review as such, just a, an opening look. So I'll, uh, I'm just off on holiday on Saturday. I'll take that with me and have a good read. Thanks very much for watching.